What's up guys, Mike here. I've been getting a lot of requests from a lot of you guys asking me to teach you about options. And today is your lucky day because I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know to prepare for buying options. So with that said, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and the channel out and I would really appreciate it. So make sure to smash that like button. And with that said, let's begin. All right, so let's start with the basics because before you buy any options, you really have to know the basics of options because it makes a difference between making money or even losing money. Because if you buy an option and you do not know what the heck you're doing, you are going to lose a lot of money within minutes. But if you do know what you're doing, you could be making a ton of money within a few seconds. So let's start with the most basic basics of options. So in options, every option has five specific Greeks that you need to pay close attention to. And that is your delta, gamma, and theta. The vega and rho are not that much important. And they don't really affect your option that much. But they do play a tiny effect. But your three main things that you really need to play very close attention to is delta, gamma, and theta. And one of your most important things that you should always look for when you're buying an option is implied volatility, IV. I can't explain to you how insanely important it is for you to pay extremely close attention to, to your IV because I have seen so many people lose a ton of money because the IV was insanely out of proportion and they got something we call IV crush. That means their option went to the smacker. It just went down the drain and the contract became absolutely worthless and going from hundreds of dollars to 20 to 10 even pennies on the dollar so IV is extremely important and i'm going to go very detailed and tell you ex and explain to you everything that you need to about know about IV and it also affects how much volume there is and your open interest these three are actually just as important as these three if not a lot more these three make it or break you no joke you really need to know what you're buying so when I say you have to know the basics before we jump into the options I am dead serious it is going to make you or break you it is going to print you money or it's going to steal man money from you so let's start with Delta all right right here this is your first Greek Delta so here is our option mu is a stock the the ticker symbol of this stock is mu okay so let's say we're gonna be buying buying a call on mu so what we have is delta and it says if mu goes up by a dollar the stock goes up by a dollar let's say it's at 19 dollars and it goes up to 20 dollars from that $1, Delta will give you 0.4527 cents on every dollar your call option goes up to. So that, that pretty much is, if it goes up a dollar, your option just print you 0.45 cents, 10 Ds, which is pretty much money, all right? So how much can you get when MU goes up? 0.45 cents when it goes up a dollar. And then the next one is Gamma. When MU goes up a dollar, the delta will go up by 2.23 cents. All right, that's pretty much you're making another 0.23 cents. All right, so I'm telling you, you really have to know what's going on in your options before you buy. Now, there's another insanely important Greek you have to pay the most closest attention to, and that is theta. This is your time, your decay this is your option decaying within time the the shorter the date of your option that you're going to be picking right here the faster your option goes down the drain the faster your option expires the faster your option becomes worthless so if you see 45 dollars and 76 cents and you only picked 
a two day option that means you only have two days before your the price that you selected for your call goes absolutely worthless data will destroy you if you do not have enough time right so you will lose 11 cents negative look at that negative 11 cents every time each day your stock does not hit the price you pick so let's say the stock is $45 and we're picking a $46 call option if it does not hit $46 every single day we lose 11 cents very quickly all right and it's pretty much going by time and hour as well so this is how much money you will lose if mu does not move or it just gets stuck in one place let's say your stock is at 45 76 and it goes up to 79 and then down to 70 or 60 your time is decaying you're running out of time you only picked a two-day expiration date all right and your time is just going down so one thing we all are limited to in life is time so with when it comes to options so is your time decay so is your option call your option is limited to a specific time you chose sometimes it's a lot better to buy a option with a long distance time so let's say today is um may now well we're going to june let's say it was june you want to buy an option that gives you at least two to three months all right you don't want your option to decay within a week or two you really need to give yourself at least a couple months all right usually i like to give myself about a month and a half to two months when i pick any options because i know theta is not going to destroy me every single second as time goes by usually like you can see the effect of theta every single hour your if when your option is not moving up your money is going down the drain like this is your option prices your money will go down the drain all right so you paid 45 4.57 cents which means you paid 57 dollars all right so one contract of an option is a hundred shares i want to make sure everyone understands that when you buy one single contract you are committing yourself to buy a hundred shares by the expiration date if it hits this price or it goes up or you can decline to buy it and sell it to someone else your option but if your price never hits 46 dollars you're not you're not you don't have to buy this option all right it's only when it hits 46 dollars or more you're going to be assigned to buy the option or the or the broker is going to assign this to somebody else and you're going to make lose all your profit you're not going to even get paid anything if you do not buy your option or sell it to someone else before your expiration date so make sure you pay extremely close attention to theta i am not joking theta will make you or break you no joke it's just as important as implied volatility iv you can be iv crushed or theta crushed all right so make sure when you buying an option you buy one with a long expiration date at least a month and a half to two months is my recommendation if not a lot longer i really would suggest you can you should be able to buy as long as you possibly can afford because it gets more expensive the longer the you date you choose for your option obviously the more expensive the price of the option is going to be and i'm going to be straight with you sometimes it pays a lot more if you buy a more expensive option just because the time is more uh longer than buying a short dated one because you're going to have a lot of time for your option to hit your price you're going to break even probably most likely and you're going to be printing tendies you only want to print tendies you don't want to lose print tendies you want to go tits up as wall street bet says it you always want to print your tendies all right or else just suffer being theta destroying your option or being iv crushed so okay so i want to break it down again when you buy an option make sure your expiration date the time decay of your option is a long-term option date right you want to pick about a month and a half to two months if not more if you can afford it a longer expiration date it, it's very important so let's move on to vega which these are pretty much worthless these are nothing they mean absolutely not much they're like pennies on the dollar look at that if 
implied volatility IV goes up by 1%, see so it's at 41%, your option only increases by 0.01%. That's nothing. That's pennies. All right? IV crush or love. That's what I've been telling you guys. IV crush. Vega is all about your IV. All right? So this is where IV implies. IV implies in your Vega. All right? So Vega isn't as useless, but it is pretty useless because it's only giving you pennies. All right. At the same time, before I continue, everything I said can go opposite. All right. It's vice versa. The MU goes up a dollar, your option goes up by 0.45 cents. If the if the MU goes down by a dollar, you lose 0.45 cents. All right. Just make sure you understand that. It's vice versa. It's not always you're going to go up. Obviously, that's impossible because options go down as well. So delta, gamma, theta, all, vega, rho, all of them are vice versa of what you read here. Okay. So vega is your IV, which is extremely important, IV itself. Vega, not so much because it's always going to be very minuscule. It's going to be like 0.01 always or something even less. Maybe 0.02 to 3. It's not going to be much. That's like pennies on the dollar, but every percentage counts, and you could be losing money extremely fast if your IV is really high. Now, what is IV, all right? A lot of people don't understand what implied volatility is. What is that? I'm going to break it down for you right now. IV is how many people are interested in this stock option, all right? It's not just the stock itself. It's the option price that you are choosing as well. So let's say we are choosing this $46 target and our option, our, our stock is $45.76. Um, uh, we have 3,280 people are interested for this call option at this strike price, $46 strike price on October 5th. All right. So this is how many people are interested this is pretty good IV, i would say um because you have a good amount of people interested in this price so you could be making money on this and your IV is pretty stable and good right now all right you have a very nice volume sample all right the long the larger the sample volume the better five thousand usually i like to make sure it's like around ten thousand that's my volume target that that makes the stock be worth value all right and the one thing you really have to pay attention to is when stocks have earnings date earnings dates play a huge effect on your IV because it earnings date is when the most amount of people are interested in this option because the second the option the stock announces its earnings either before market or right after after market hours you're call your option will drop like it's hot all right that's why it's important to sell your option the second they do earnings because i cannot kid you but your option is about to drop in half all right because there's something called a premium all right you pay a premium to buy this option at 46 dollars. okay so what's going on is you want to buy a call for mu by October 5th and they're charging you $57 because what did we say we said one contract is a hundred shares a hundred 100 times 0.57 is $57 all right so you're paying $57 betting what this is what options is pretty much you're betting you're gambling that this stock will hit $46 by October 5 if not sooner it could be sooner all right, but you're betting that by October 5, it has to hit um, $46. And if it doesn't, you're going to lose money. And in order to at least break even, that means it hits October 5 and it's at $46. By the time the market closes, which is at 1 p.m. Uh, for options, it's from 6.30 in the morning to 1 p.m. in California time. It's going to be different in New York time, okay? Like, New York is three hours ahead, so it's going to be a lot different. There's going to be 4.30, so make sure you understand the times, okay? Their times is a lot different than ours. For Sorry, New York is not 4.30. It's 9.30, all right? New York time is 9.30 to 4. 
that's when market hours are 9 30 to 4 um california is 6 30 to 1 okay so make sure you understand this by the time the market closes it has to like let's say you're in california it has to hit at least 46 57 for you to break even by 1 p.m all right i highly suggest you sell out and get out before that by october 5 or you're gonna either be assigned to buy for this stock at 46 dollars or you're gonna be forced to sell it if you don't have the money in your account all right so make sure you understand your implied volatility your theta and then get the basics of your delta and gamma and vega will help you understand your iv all right so let's go to rho which this is the least and almost not even relevant greek that you really have to even pay attention to it's just saying if interest that means open interest how many volume you have how many people are interested in it goes by one percent that's also affects that your option will go up by a, a not even a a penny all right which is like worthless all right everyone tells you row is worthless gay man all right this guy is gay man all right but he's telling you this is worthless all right and he's telling you vega is your implied volatility this is how you get iv crushed if you don't have a long-term expiration date but if you do don't worry about it you'll be fine your iv won't destroy you and theta oh my god all of you really have to pay insane amount of attention to theta because if your stock is not going up at least every single day theta will destroy you this is how much money you're gonna lose if your mu becomes lazy that means mu your stock mu is too tired it's too lazy people are not buying enough of this stock and it goes down the drain because people are like i'm tired of this stock and they leave and go buy another stock all right and then you got your gamma which affects delta all right these two work very close together um it's your money you if you get delta goes up 5.45 gamma gives it another extra boost up 0.23 all right, so you're making money with these two. These are your money makers. These are your money destroyers. These will destroy you. All right, I should include Vega too. Vega will pennywise destroy you. Row is absolute garbage. I wouldn't worry too much about row, but Delta Gamma is your money makers, and these are your money destroyers. They will make you and break you. They will destroy you. IV, Theta, Vega will crush you if you do not have enough expiration date and if you do not have enough open interest in your stock that you are buying so when you're buying a stock pull up the um greeks okay i'll show you exactly how you can do that when you're buying a stock it's every single uh broker will show you the greeks all right there's no way any broker does not do that it's not possible every broker will do that webo will show you right at the top think or swim will show you at the top but the thing that's annoying about robin hood is that you actually have to click on the greeks for it to drop down the window and show you the greeks so with that said let's go to robin hood directly and i'll show you exactly what's going on when you go and buy an option all right so let's start with everyone's favorite stock the past few months and that is tesla ticker symbol tsla so let's say you want to buy a call option on tesla you go to stock options and then you click buy a call that means you're betting that this stock will go up 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 well no way she goes and if you want to short the stock you click buy and put that means sell the stock will go down you're shorting it all right so make sure a lot of people don't understand the two differences uh, some people think it's selling a put means shorting it no that's dangerous we i might go over this in another video the selling a put can cost you a ton of money more money than you put into the option all right so be careful when you're doing that let's just stick it to the basics right now and that's buying a call you're betting that tesla will go up because usually that's what it's been doing all right like i said you can pull up the greeks on every call option all right so let's say you're betting that tesla will go up to 850 dollars by june 5th I, I don't like that i like to make sure that i get a month and a half in my options so right right now it's gonna be monday or it's gonna be 
um, January, I mean, sorry, June. And I like to make sure it's going to be the beginning month of June. I like to give myself at least a month and a half to even two months, uh, whatever you feel comfortable buying. Tesla is very expensive, all right? The option in Tesla is extremely expensive. I understand people can't afford that. That's why they don't do it. That's why you shouldn't buy Tesla options, all right? If you can't afford it, don't buy it. There's a reason why you can't afford it, because you can't afford to lose money, all right? Because when you're buying options, you have to go in the mentality that if my option doesn't print 10 Ds, doesn't make me money, I'm okay with losing my money, all right? Because when you buy options, you have to be okay with whatever you buy, you're okay with losing, all right? Because that's what options is. It's amount of money that you're willing to lose, all right? So don't do options if you're not willing to lose that money, all right? I'm very straightforward with you guys. If you're going to buy any option, do not buy it if you can't afford to lose that money, all right? Let's say you want to pick um, $850 and make sure you're giving yourself at least a month and a half. July 1st, it's going to hit $850. I'm pretty certain Tesla will hit that price. There's no way it won't. But it's very highly like unlikely. It, I mean, it's very highly likely that it won't. All right, and you lose your um, premium. This is your premium, six thousand one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Remember, multiply by a hundred. Boom, boom, boom. Six thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars for one single contract. That's a hundred shares of Tesla at eight hundred and fifty dollars. So if you click on here in the um, Robinhood, it's gonna pull down your Greeks, it's going to show you this is the implied volatility. It's at 60%. This is, it's high, all right? This is very high. Um, you got to be really careful. And guess what? Only one person's interested. That means you're, you're, the likelihood of you selling this contract back to someone else is very slim. But right now, it's because the markets are closed, all right? That's why the interest is really low. But let's say if this was reality, okay? This was a real life example and open interest was ex was only one person the likelihood of you flipping this option back to the market for six thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars is slight to none all right one person has to buy that and you only have one open interest you are going to be very disappointed because your option is not gonna sell you're gonna lose a ton of money waiting for someone to buy this because there's only one person interested and look at how tiny the volume is only 23 people would care to do to buy this at this price so what's going to happen is you're going to need to change your expiration date and find a date that there's a lot more interest see uh the closer we are a lot more interest because tesla is extremely expensive so not a lot of people can afford to pay six grand for it all right but look, I just picked a higher date. People are willing to spend more money if the expiration date is a lot farther away, right? 282 people. It's not a lot, but this is Tesla. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to sell it, but you have more open interest. Your different dates will give you more interest. Let's say you only want to buy a two-week option, which is absolutely insane and risky. When it comes to options, you're destroying your own Theta, this is theta. You're going to kill yourself. Theta is 0.1. Every day, your option does not move up. You lose a dollar and 26 cents at times 100. All right. That's $126. Your option will lose money uh, if it's not moving up. It has to move up at least a dollar. It has to move up by the time it closes. Every single day, it has to move up. Because if it doesn't, you lose $126 a day, all right? A single day, you will lose $126 if your option, your this stock does not move up, all right? But if it does move up a dollar, you make $0.45 cents plus four more cents. Not even. You make one penny, all right? So you're making about $0.46 cents on the dollar every dollar tesla goes up which is pretty good it's decent it's not a lot but you gotta watch out for how many people are willing to buy right back off you all right you only have 438 people but let's say you have a shorter date and you're gonna pick the 850. now you have a ton of people all right just know even though what what just happened look your implied volatility became a lot more 
All right, did you see that? 54%. Now your IV is insanely more dangerous. It's at 50%. You might have a lot more people interested. The volume is very good, but the contract expiration is a lot higher risk. That means your theta will destroy you now negative $1.63 every single day. Uh, sorry, $163 every single day. Your contract, your uh, your stock does not move above $842. All right. So these are the basic steps that you need to know about options. And if you do not know the basics, you'll lose a lot of money the second you buy a option. So I'm going to be very straightforward with you. Do not buy option unless you are willing to lose the money that you put in. With that said, thanks again for watching my videos. As always, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so YouTube could alert you when my next video comes out. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I pretty much post there daily. So if you want to be part of that, make sure to add me there as well. Also, if you want to understand a little bit more about options and you want me to show you how to buy a call option, a put option, make sure to leave a comment below and I'll go a lot more further into that just for you as well. Also, if you want two free stocks, Webull is giving two free stocks. One for just signing up to use their platform and a second one when you make a deposit of $100 or more and they'll give you a second stock worth up to $1,400. Also right now, Webull has a promotion going on that they're going to give a free Google stock by just doing four things that they ask. It's simple, very easy to do, and you will get one Google stock for free. They'll give you a chance to enter the raffle of getting one free Google stock which is fantastic. So if you'd like to be part of that, make sure to check out the link in the description below for my YouTube uh, Weibo link. Also, Robinhood gives out a free stock, no catch there. All you have to do is sign up for the Weibo brokerage and they'll give you a free stock just for signing up. Thanks again for watching my videos and until next time, make money with Mike.